Hey guys, today we are talking Black Beauty by Anna Swell. Black Beauty was originally published in 1877. This beautiful edition is by Penguin. It is a Penguin Threads edition. It was designed through embroidery and then it is printed onto this sort of thick card. The inside even shows you what the back of the embroidery would have looked like. These are stunning editions in general and this one is particularly lovely. Those of you that have been around for a while will know that I've been meaning to read this for the longest time. I hauled it years ago and I host Children's Literature Month every November. I've hosted it for the past three years I think and I've meant to read it every time. I did finally get to it though. Black Beauty is written in first person and it is actually from the perspective of the horse Black Beauty. It tells the story of his life. It is a very beautiful, sympathetic book. It has a lot to do with animal welfare at a time when it wasn't the norm to have that kind of sympathy or empathy for animals. But so much of this book is about humanity and the human condition and how we treat each other. It definitely places an emphasis on the value of human kindness and how far a simple act can reach. There's lots of really lovely morals in here that would be wonderful when you were reading it when you were younger, but I think there is a lot to learn from this book no matter your age. And as far as enjoyability went, Black Beauty was just a lovely, lovely experience. I know that I definitely watched a animated adaptation when I was younger. I remembered next to nothing about that. Um, I didn't even remember that Black Beauty was a boy, <laughs> to be honest. This book felt very fresh to me. I knew very little that was going to happen until it unfolded, but there was just something so charming about this book. I'm definitely so glad that I finally got around to reading it. If anyone else has yet to get around to reading it, I really do recommend it. It is a lovely experience. Black Beauty was lovely. There was nothing too surprising for me there. I mean, obviously it's a classic for a reason. I assumed that I would enjoy it, but it was definitely nice to have that confirmed. And I definitely look forward to reading it again in the future. So that's about it for now, guys. I'm not gonna bother going into details. You know the premise of the story and anyone who hasn't read it yet, I think it's lovely to see it unfold for yourself. For those of you who are long-term Black Beauty fans, feel free to leave comments letting me know what you love about the story. And tell me how old you were when you first read it. I would love to know. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care and I will see you soon.